Nation, our objective is to teach the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who they are according to God. That's right. According to God. We all have our opinions, and there are a lot of them. We all think, all one race of people think that there are so many different things, and they are the only race of people on this earth that prescribes to a, 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 a plethora, a ton of different religions and nationality. Some of us call ourselves African American, some of us call ourselves Nubian, right. some of us call ourselves Egyptian, some of us call ourselves Baptist, Christian, Catholic. We are the only race of people scattered in doctrine, scattered in ideology, scattered in nationality. Right. But we are one people, are we not? Are we not? We are. John 832. Come on, read. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Uh -huh. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth of this Bible, which is your nationality, your real heritage, shall make you free, black man, black woman. You've been lied to out of the Bible. Yes, indeed. So I don't fault you. I don't fault you that you are, you, you're, you're, you're leery of the Bible. I don't fault you for that. Because we've been lied to, sis. We've been lied to. We don't want to admit it. And we want it, a lot of times we, we just want to have fun, but, but when it comes time to swallowing that pill called our history, called our heritage, we want to, you know what I'm saying, we kind of stay away from it. But the Bible, the Bible offers us an identity. The Bible offers us a history that's beyond the history that you were taught. That's lies in your public schools, black man. We all know that we didn't have access to greater education. We all know that we didn't have access to anything but lies as education. We all know that. So what are we really? What are we really? Read this again. John chapter 8 verse 32. Come on. And ye shall know the truth, uh -huh. and the truth shall make you free. So are we free today? We're not a free people, right? Some of us like to say we are, but we're not a free people today. So if we've had all these different religions that our people are scattered in, right? Baptist, Rastafarianism, Egyptology, Christianity, all these things, right? We are our people. No, no, no. All there's so many different groups of us within one nation, within one people. Why we ain't free? We've been all scattered like that. Bring it up. Which one of them gonna free us? Which one of them we ain't tried yet? We done tried them all. But the Bible says the truth is what's gonna set you free. The truth is what's gonna set you free, right? Hold on, listen up. I don't know. That's Lord knows. Now give me um Baruch three and eight. Give me Baruch three and eight. Give me Baruch 3 and 8. Some of us prescribe to these false religions, false identities, false nationalities as hopes to make us free, as hopes to give us some type of empowerment. Because our reality is hell. That's our reality. The black man's reality is hell. That's our reality. That's right. And you have to lie to you. A lot of us are, are just left to lie to ourselves as to if we're free or not to this day. We know we're not free. But we got to tell ourselves, no, I'm royalty. I'm a king. I come from royal. We got to tell ourselves these things, right? It's because of the oppression that we suffer to this day, right? Watch this. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Yeah. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. This is in the Bible. The Bible says we are yet this day in our captivity. A lot of us forget that we wouldn't be standing right here right now, except we came in chains on our neck and on our, uh, and on our wrists. We forget that. Go ahead, you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. And it, listen, it's the, it's, the, it's the Sabbath, so remember, you are Israelite, you gotta keep the commandments, one of which, don't work, don't buy, don't sell on the Sabbath day. You got all week to do that, just observe the Sabbath, all right? You are Israelite, brother. Read that flyer, read that flyer. Check us out online too, all right? Read that again. Verse eight, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. The Bible says we are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this day in our captivity. That lie, the notion that we have to tell ourselves that we are free, that we're not, we're no longer captives, we're no longer slaves, that's a lie. That's a lie and you know it, black man, because you know what you suffer. Read on. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. The thou that we're reading about in the Bible is God. God scattered us for a reproach and a curse. God scattered us for a reproach and a, and a curse. Why did God scatter us into slavery? Brother in the, in the uh, blue shirt. Why did God scatter us into captivity? Any, any thoughts? Sister, any thoughts? Why did, God, why, why did only our people get shipped across the, across the earth as, as slaves? For money? Well, that's a product of us being um, sold as slaves. That's a product. 
right? We were sold. What other people can say that's their history? Sorry, repeat. What other people can say that's their history? Uh, native. Huh? Native. The natives. That's right. Who else? Us. And us. That you are you are one hundred and ten percent correct. No one else can claim that as their history. As terrible as it is. Yet and still, no one can claim that as their history. Watch, listen carefully to this, brother and sister. Listen carefully. And this is the Bible, the book that's been in front of us all our lives, all of our parents' lives. And we've never known to link it to ourselves. Right. We know we're different because only we go through the things to this day that we go through. We know George Floyd is only one race of people deal, uh, suffer like that. You can say everybody died. You can say that. But only one people die. It's put to death in the street on camera with a knee on your back, on your neck. Right. Who, what other race does that happen to? Don't get uncomfortable, brother. Don't get uncomfortable. We gotta deal with these things. This is our history. This is how it goes. We gotta talk about it, right? We gotta understand that the Bible tells us that these things would happen to us. Not only that, it tells us it would continue to happen to us. Because when we see it, we say what? Why? Why? When is this gonna stop? Why don't they understand? Why they keep doing us like this, right? When we don't understand what the Bible say, read that again. Watch this, listen carefully. The book of Baruch chapter three, verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Because some of us think we're free, right? Yet and still, George Floyd wasn't that long ago. That was after the whips and the shackles on our neck and, ch and arms. But George Floyd still happened, and only to us. You name me another race that dies like that, Trayvon Martin. We can do this all day. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. Name me another race of people that die that way. Doesn't exist. Only we. There's something exclusive about us. There's something uh, peculiar, different about us. And that's what we're talking about. Watch this. Where well, thou hast scattered us. The thou here is who? God. This whole Bible is the narrative between God and his children. Right? Where well, thou hast scattered us. Where well, God has scattered us. So... We know that God has allowed this to happen to us, right? We know that, because we say, why God? Jesus, no. Jesus, why? We ain't talking to nobody else when we say, why? We talking to God. When our brother is leaking on in the street in the gutter, we say, God, why? Right? This is why. Read on. Where thou hast scattered us? Uh -huh. Where God has scattered us. Come on. And how are we scattered? How are we scattered? Slave ships. Slave ships all over the world. Some of us, yeah, here in America. Most of us here in America. Some of us the Caribbean island. Some of us still went from the Caribbean island back to the continent of Africa. Some of us from the continent of Africa to the to European uh, uh, region. Some of us to Spain, Russia. We were scattered all over the earth. All over the earth. God did that. Why? Read. For a reproach. For reproach. Reproach means hate means anger, anger. So who's angry? Who's angry? God is angry. Why is he angry with us? Because who else is suffering this way? Huh? We're not fully following the prophecy that he allows us to follow. Well, rather than prophecy, let's change that with, with one word. It's called laws. It's called laws. I'm gonna show you that, I'm gonna prove all things. All right, whatever we say, all you got to do is say, prove it. And we're going to prove it. That's all you got to say. Deal? Deal? You challenge something that comes out of our mouth, say, prove it, and we're going to prove it. With this book, with the Bible. Not our own opinion, with the Bible. All right? All right, go ahead. For a, for a reproach and a curse. And a curse. What is that curse? What is that curse? Let's get that. Deuteronomy 28. Let's find out what that curse is. Because whatever the Bible say, it also explains. We've been mistaught and we've been lied to out of this book. So we think the Bible contradicts itself. We think that the Bible is the so-called white man's book. We think that King James was a homosexual, so why listen to him as far as the laws of God? These are all the narratives that we've been lied to about. Am I right? Is that right or wrong, brother? Have you ever heard any of those things? Any of those narratives? You heard that before? Any of those narrative systems? Okay, all right. So those are just, if you don't know, those are some uh, common or popular beliefs about the Bible. And they're misconceptions, all of them. 
right? And what we're going to find out today, if the, if, if the Lord wills, that this book is your book. This is a black man's book. That's right. And only his book. Right. I'm going to prove it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.